pre-season, or the third, final of the first pre-season test, I should say. And this man is fastest, Jorge Lorenzo, a 1 minute 58.830. is the fastest ever two-wheel lap, as Matt Bird just said a few moments ago, that we have ever seen at the Sepang International Circuit. It's not an official lap record, but it beats Mark Marquez's time that he set back in 2015 of a 1 minute 58.867. So 37 hundredths quicker than... Marquez just a few years ago. Second to him is Danny Pedrosa at 159.009. That's quite significantly faster than the Spaniard went yesterday. His best time yesterday was a 159.999. Meanwhile, this is Andrea De Vizioso. He had some problems this morning. A tip off at turn number one meant he had to get the uh, marshals out and have some assistance in the gravel trap to get his bike back into a safe place. A disappointing start to the day for Davizioso, but uh, he was otherwise okay and soon made it back out to the garage. As you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, there is a live timing graphic. Mark Marquez and Tito Rabat are currently the only riders who are circulating at the moment. We're looking at Marquez's teammate, Danny Pedrosa, however. Danny, of course, as I said, second place so far here today. So just over three hours and 15 minutes remaining of this testing session. It's been an exciting start to the day. As we said, a lot of uh, on-track activity and also no rain as well. The first time in the test that we've not had any rain affecting any of the uh, session so far. Of course, Monday it uh, rained just as the riders were about to head out onto the track. And yesterday there was overnight rain before the riders went to the track. So they had to wait for it to dry out before they could venture onto the circuit. We just saw Mark Marquez, he had Honda's new aero fairing on uh, yesterday. He wasn't opting to run it this morning as he said that they needed to work on the suspension in order to find the right balance. Here is his factory Honda teammate, Cal Crutchlow, of course, who lines up with the LCR Honda team for the 2018 season. Crutchlow, of course, a very impressive 2016 campaign, a slightly disappointing 2017 campaign. By his reckoning, he'll be hoping for some more improvements behind the handlebars of that RC213V. And he said, of course, earlier on, uh, before the test, that he is hoping for a more versatile Honda, one that works in a lot more conditions for him. Here, though, is Maverick Vinales, the Movistar Yamaha MotoGP rider. Of course, three race victories last year. Took Yamaha's 500th win in Le Mans as well. Had a difficult season in the middle of it as well. Really did struggle with the Yamaha, especially in the wet conditions. But that was the same for both Yamaha Race riders. Race victories Don't last forget, year. Last year here at Sepang. They had an absolute shocker, didn't they? Uh, in stark comparison, of course, Johan Zarco, who was on the 2016 chassis at that point, had uh, an absolute blinder of a race. So they'll be hoping for some good improvements with Movistar Yamaha. And given the fact that they were one or two yesterday, Zarco, who was that on the 2016 the chassis new at that point, fairing. having on board that YZMR, uh, YZR M1 as well, as we can see. And uh, a very conservative design compared to what we've seen in the past. And this is Valentino Rossi, who is currently circulating uh, in 12th fastest. I say currently circulating, he's in the pit lane at the moment, but this was him earlier on today. 12th fastest time overall. And uh, having a good session so far. Here's Thank Johan Zarco. Uh, in he, we believe, is on the 2017 chassis. But the one that Rossi and Vinales used in the early part of last season. Not the one that caused them to have all the problems, of course, in the wet conditions. And it remains to be seen what will happen with Johan. Whether he will use this chassis. Whether he will use the later chassis in the 2016 bike. Or whether he may even opt to use the 2016 chassis. We know that, of course, the Movistar Yamaha bike is essentially an evolution of the 2016 chassis. For this year, and Valentino Rossi was commenting very positively on it. Johan Zarco seems to be able to make that bike, though, work in the very wet conditions. So it'll be interesting to see what happens for the Frenchman. Aprilia, of course, back again for 2018. The third year in their return to MotoGP. Alicia Spargo here, he was trying a new spec front tyre yesterday from Michelin. Had some very positive comments to say about it as well. So much so that a lot of other riders have been testing it out so far this morning. And that is the tyre that Jorge Lorenzo set his best lap time on. With the 158.830 that we see. Alessio Spargaro currently circulating in uh, 15th fastest. His teammate for this year though, of course, is Scott Redding. On board that on. Noale Aprilia. Redding. Having a good test so far, somewhat quiet it must be said, not necessarily set the timing sheets alight has the Briton, but having a good test, not too many uh, issues, said that they tried a new engine the other day, the 2018 spec RSGP engine, and it had a lot more feel in the mid-range, and it just made it a lot more rideable and easier for him, so we'll be excited to see if he can keep the times tumbling.
towards the end of the session. We should mention, though, of course, it is quite uh, hot here now in Sepang, 32 degrees Celsius, so that time won't be coming down too much, maybe towards the end of the session. Here's Andrea Rianone, a torrid day for him yesterday with another mechanical failure on board that GSX double R. Hoping for better improvements on the final day of testing. Six fast, sorry, 10th fastest, I should say, with a 159.6 with that new aerodynamic fairing for the Suzuki team, which we saw break cover, of course, last year. Down the back straight goes Andrea Iannone as we look now at his teammate Alex Rins. So you can keep up to date with all the coverage of the Sepang Test on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Get in touch with us as well using the hashtag of Sepang Test. In the meantime, let's go back to Matt Burt on the ground in Malaysia.